Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Maddie, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment whatever you want to comment, it's really up to you. And also subscribe for more really great content, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but I personally probably wouldn't remember, so you should totally do that. And I, uh... Make sure to follow my two Instagrams, um, my beauty one, where I post all my makeup looks, is Modified Makeup by Mad. And then there's also my personal one, if you just kind of want to get to know me a little more, you know, see what I'm up to, is Madeline McBride underscore great. We're done. We're done with all that fun stuff. It is one in the morning on a Thursday. Um, well, so I guess it's Friday then. But I was going to wax my eyebrows tomorrow on actual Friday, and I realized I'm actually so freaking busy tomorrow that I literally won't have time, like, at all. Like, no time to wax my eyebrows. And I was like, dude, my eyebrows need help. Because on the weekends, I see my boyfriend. I don't really have time to, so, like, the time to do it is now. Um, they are looking pretty horrendous to say the least. We're just gonna do them now, you know? You'll soon realize I don't really have much of a sleep schedule, so, like, I'm up, whatever. Let's... Let's crank it out. I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what you need because I'm not just waxing my eyebrows, I'm also like trimming them and stuff, so you're gonna need a couple of things. So first, you're gonna need a spoolie brush. This is just the one of the Jeffree Star Morphe ones with the brush on the end. I'm just using it because it's like the cleanest spoolie brush I have. And then you're gonna need some tweezers. I actually found this in the men's section. These are ingrown hair tweezers, but they are just super precise and little skinny tweezers, and these are amazing. Um, these are by Blade, I don't know, but I found them when I was looking for men's beard stuff with my boyfriend and I said, oh, I'm grabbing those, those are nice, I have pretty shitty tweezers before these. And then I have these little eyebrow trimmer scissors. And then what you're gonna need is a waxing kit. Um, I can't really hold mine up, but this is what it looks like when I got it on Amazon. And I do have the box, so I'll hold that up if that helps. It is called the Lamenta Professional depilatory wax warmer. It comes with a lot of things that you're gonna need and pretty much everything you will need. So try to look for something like this because you don't want to be buying a bunch of shit separately. It adds up. This is a very nice cheap one. This one does come with a wax warmer. You're gonna need that. Um, it comes with 10 spatulas. It comes with fat ones and skinny ones. The fat ones are for bigger parts of your body. So like your legs, your arms, even your armpits. Just stuff like that. And then the skinny ones are for like eyebrows, your little peach fuzz stash if you have one. Um, as you can see, I don't use the big ones because I just shave. I don't really have, like, I don't feel like waxing my whole body. Like, I don't feel like doing that. But I do like waxing my eyebrows because those shits grow back quick. And then it also comes with four packs of hard wax beads. I just threw them all in the wax warmer. You can do that or not, but I just did. Um, so the cool thing about this one is it does have an LCD temperature display on it. And it also has an adjustable temperature knob. The only complaint I have about this one is, is the knob is very sensitive, so sometimes Sometimes it's hard to get it to specific temperatures. Um, it also has like a cover with a vent and it has a 100 watt heating element. Cool. It comes with directions, but I'll just kind of tell you what I do. You can trust me, maybe. Um, so first, you're going to want to make sure your face is washed and like don't moisturize it quite yet because it will just make the wax kind of like slip off your skin and not really take any hair out and you don't want that. You're going to want to heat this up and a little tip is you don't have to wait for the whole like wax fucking blob in there to all melt. You're gonna be waiting for a long time. So just wait until like, you know, there's about a half an inch diameter of it melted. That'll be good. And when you start off, you're gonna wanna turn it up all the way. I think the highest temperature is 275 degrees Fahrenheit and wait for it to all melt because if you put it to the skin safe temperature, you're gonna be waiting for a long ass time. Um, but do not wax your face with 275 degree wax. Please, that's not me saying that. Please turn it down after it's melted and wait for it to cool down a little bit. Uh, the safe temperature for it to go in your skin, I believe, is 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. I put it to 180 to play it safe, but also if you make it anything lower than that, I think around 120, it's kind of hard to spread on your skin. So, <coughs> oh my god, 180 is like the sweet spot. I can't translate that to Celsius, so I'm sorry. I live in America, bro. Sadly. Okay, so first things 
that I do while that's melting is I'm going to take my little spoolie brush and first brush all my eyebrow hairs up. And what you're going to do here is like you're going to see which eyebrow hairs are like really fucking long and just like give those a little trim in, you know. So I just like really push them up with a spoolie. And then after you do that, you're going to take your little brow scissors and just go across and cut them. And this is going to make it so when you're waxing your eyebrows, you don't accidentally rip off hairs you actually want there, especially if they're growing all over the place like how mine do. They will stick out and then the wax will catch to it and then it can like rip out a hair that you have in the center, you know, and like you want to keep those, hopefully. And then you're going to do the same thing but brush them down. For some reason, I don't have a lot of eyebrow hairs, but the ones that I do have, they grow super fucking long. I brush them down too and then trim it that way. I don't see a lot of people do this. But I do because I notice when I don't do this, they still kind of like stick out everywhere. Oh my god, my eyebrows are so outgrown. I kind of have like guidelines for where I wax, but we'll get to those as I go on. You don't need your tweezers quite yet, but what you're going to want to do, because hopefully you've been having your wax warmer heat up, is turn it down to 180. And it cools down pretty quickly, which is nice. And we're going to let it cool down, and I'm going to turn off my camera so the battery doesn't die. And I'll come back when it's cool down. Hello guys, I am back looking like a crack ass bitch. No, this is not how I do my eyebrows, so don't panic. These are kind of like my guidelines and I did this off camera because I get super close when I make these to just kind of make sure, but I'll give you a little insight of what I do. So I follow the bridge of my nose of where it's at to kind of make those two lines up there. And then I just kind of go with the brow shape that I want. I know there's like certain rules that you'll see people use. I obviously make my tail go out further, but I just kind of draw that on manually because my eyebrows naturally come down this way. And I'm scared because I keep hearing something happening in the rest of the basement and I might die, but that's okay. I'm just gonna hope it's my cat having a hairball. Hello? Don't worry everyone, I'm back and I have a weapon. Um, if this is it, at least it'll be caught on camera. When I'm waxing my eyebrows, so we're good. Okay, so yeah, my guidelines I make on my eyebrows. Go with whatever shape you want. I don't like the natural shape of my eyebrows. I don't like how it looks on my face. So now we're gonna get started with waxing them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your little waxing stick and there is some technique to this that you'll just kind of get used to. You might want to get like a little pea sized on here, like a little pea sized amount of wax and then you kind of have to do this to it because it'll string up a lot. So do that to kind of wrap the string around the stick, you know what I mean? And then you're gonna want to go in the direction of the hair when you're applying it and then rip off in the opposite direction of the hair. That's very important. I didn't know that. Please do that. So I'm gonna get a little pea sized them out. I'm going to start with in between my eyebrows. And then just go straight up. And then you're going to want to like go over it a couple of times, really press down and make sure you're coating all of the hairs. And then when you're done, pull up and I'll make another string, wrap it up and then yank up if you kind of know what I mean. I'm really bad at explaining things. Listen, when I started doing this, I, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing and I figured it out. So you will too, I promise. It just seems a little scary. And then wait until when you tap on it and it sounds like a hard piece of plastic and it's not tacky. It's pretty quick. And then rip it off. And holy shit, there's so much hair on there. Throw that away. Obviously, you don't want to keep that. Maybe you do. You know, I'm gonna pray it's one of my cats. I'm gonna pray. Like, do you guys hear that? Homeless man who's living in the basement with me, I'm sorry, okay? Like, you can do whatever you want, whatever you please, just please don't kill me. Anyways, guys, so now I'm doing under my eyebrows. <gasps> Pay attention to your lashes, like how I, like a dumbass, didn't just do. I mean, my lashes are fine, but that was a close call. You're getting fairly close to your lashes. You don't want to rip those puppies off. So this was a, definitely a poor example of how I do under my eyebrows. I was pleading for my life. But now we're going to do the other side and be a little more classy about it. Go right along that guideline that you just made for yourself so nicely. And like I said, I take off like the tail of my eyebrows because 
fuck them shits. They don't do me any good. And I do both sides at the same time because then by the time I finish the other side, that one will be good. Oh God. Oh, Holy fuck. fuck. I have let my eyebrows grow out so much. This is probably the longest I've let them grow out literally ever. So that hurt. <laughs> like I've never had them. I think it's just because it's like quarantine and I don't think to like, you know, do self care, but that is so much fucking hair. And mind you, this is like the whole tail of my eyebrow. So there's gonna be a lot there. <laughs> Really quick. Yeah, and that's just this side because now we also have to do this, you know? I have such a weird shape to my eyebrows. It's just like nothing of what I like. I'll tell you that much. It's gonna be messy when you do it by yourself. It's not gonna be perfect. And also, like I said, I'm like a little bit worried because like these past couple of days, there's been a sound in the corner of the basement. And I don't know what it is. I just realized I had my whole face covered that entire time. I don't know if like some animal got in here or if like one of my cats just likes to hide out. I need to show you guys better. But like it's fucking scaring me. And I thought it was going to go away, but clearly it didn't. So now we're on this journey together. Go to this side yank all them hairs out oh love it i'm so fucking happy and then if you need to like help getting those little tails to like be able to pull on what i would do is either get a nail if you don't have nails i don't know how you would do it just take your finger and like flick one side up really quick to make it a little less painful and then you'll have a little like thing like a little handle to grab onto when you're waxing so those are the bottom of my eyes and they're all clear it doesn't look like there's any stragglers there's one but I'll get those at the end and now we're just gonna do the top and the top is a lot more easier going because there's a lot less hair so now we're just doing one side the top of my eyebrow also if you have any am I showing you guys yes event planned to go to and you want to wax before you go to it don't go or <laughs> don't, just don't go to it <laughs> no but um well you shouldn't because we're in a pandemic but like a cute date or something and you want to have waxed eyebrows do it the day before because your eyebrows will be very red if you do it the day of and then rip Ooh. and there we go If you feel the wax falling down your face, put your head back. That's also a really nice tip. Because <laughs> sometimes you'll panic and you'll be like, oh fuck. Just put your head back and then like scoop it up and like glide it across with it. Because if you start going all kinds of directions, it won't really pick up the hair nicely. Okay. Try to make it as thin as possible too on your skin. I kind of connected these so I'm going to like, you know, break them up a little bit because we don't want to rip them off as one piece. And then rip that off. Yeah, there's like next to nothing on these ones. There we go. Now that I got my eyebrows all waxed and how I want them to look and you'll see kind of the finished result when I wipe this eyeliner off my eyebrows. So now I'm just going to get my tweezers, my super nice and precise tweezers. And just get any that are kind of like sticking out a little bit. And you're like, oh, I don't want those there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go just remove this with my makeup eraser. And I'm going to bring down an ice cube and some moisturizer and just show you how I apply it. And it'll feel so nice. So I'll be right back. Yay, I took all the stuff off my eyebrows. Where's my mirror? As you can see, the skin gets red. You know, you just ripped a ton of hair out of them. And it's also super red because I just iced it. Um, what this will do is kind of close up the pores so you don't get ingrown hairs because... When I didn't ice my skin, whenever I would wax my eyebrows, I would get them like fucking crazy. <laughs> like actually, make sure you do that. It's a really helpful tip I learned or taught myself. But now we're just gonna also moisturize, please. It's important. So I'm using this Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. Yeah, it's a lightweight, oil-free one. It's really nice. And then you're supposed to mix that. Well, this serum I'm using right now, you have to mix it with your moisturizer. It's the um, 111 skin or 111 skin or triple one skin, whatever you want to fucking call it. Harley St. London 
a Cyro Cryo, Cryo ATP Sports Booster. I don't know what it is, but pretty much it's just this nice serum that makes your skin feel all like flushed and pretty. I don't know. Fuck it, man. I got an Ipsy and it's really nice. So you're going to take two drops of that with a little dollop of your moisturizer and mix it all together and put it all over your face. But, you know, try to get it where you're eyebrows just got all ripped up you know my nose is super dry <laughs> okay and just like really press it into your skin and then i also get this uh pearlese pearlese i don't know what, how it's pronounced blue lotus four in one eye adore serum and it's like an intense hydrating serum i've always used around my eyes to kind of help with my insanely dark circles so I just get like a tiny like pea amount of that, rub it between my two middle fingers, put it on my eyes, but also like really focus it on the skin around your eyebrows because, you know, it's like, what the fuck did you just do to me? So you have to like, you know, treat it right. She's like, Miss Ma'am, please don't ever do that again. I want to say sorry, girl. Here you go. Take some fucking hydrating 4-in-1 eye serum by Pure Leaf. Pure Leaf. Fuck it, man. What's it called? My nose is so dry. I could try to do a close-up shot of my eyebrows. Let's see. Oh, God. It looked terrifying. I'm so sorry. So, yeah. That's what they look like. Um, I make them little baby brows. Because I do my makeup, like, like, I don't know. I don't know. If you follow Modified Makeup by Matt on Instagram, you'll know. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I will be back next Thursday with another video. So, you know, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys then. All right. Bye.